Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a lovely new disc. That's, it's one of those recordings that could, like, slide under the radar because the repertoire isn't the usual stuff and the label is an indie that doesn't have the highest profile in the universe. It's the Lin label, which makes discs known for their audiophile qualities, as often as not, and the, the the performance, the works in question, are Dvorak's Legends and the Czech Suite, conducted by Romanian-slash-American-slash-German-slash-Parisian conductor Christian Machalaru and his own orchestra, the WDR Symphony Orchestra. Um, this is a lovely disc, and the music is, oh gosh, it's Dvorak, it's fabulous. Fabulous. Let's talk about the music a little bit. Then we'll do the performances, which are fine. I mean, they're very, very good. The, the, the Legends originally was a piano thing, which Dvorak orchestrated. It's 10 short movements. And the piece is basically unprogrammable because, you know, you, well, it's, it's 10 short things. I mean, what are you going to do with them? It, frankly, they should be all played at once because all 10 of them add up to like 45 minutes. It's basically 50 minutes. It's, it's a symphony length kind of work in total, but they are short. They're written for basically a chamber orchestra. Um, so, you know, you're not going to have some huge thing, but I mean, it's a decent size orchestra. You've got a harp, you know, there's like a triangle and a couple of pieces. It, it's, it's, they're gorgeous. I mean, it's Dvorak. They're gorgeous. They are lyrical and beautiful. And the title, Legends, you know, gives you a sort of a hint as to what they're about, but they don't have programmatic titles. Dvorak dedicated them to the critic Hanslick, a, a politically smart maneuver in Vienna of the day. And I mean, I just love them. I, I particularly like number six. And the reason I like it, I mean, it's not only just, well, I mean, you know, it's Dvorak. It's gorgeous. I keep saying that. It's still true. Now, the, the reason I like it is because, well, it has the harp part. And it, there's a central episode in which the one of the main themes from the slow movement of the Third Symphony pops up out of nowhere. Yampa, dumpa, da 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 da. Bum, ba, da, da. Oh, I mean, it's just so beautiful. Anyway, they're all gorgeous, and they don't get played all that often as a result of their kind of oddity as, as a unique piece, a unique structure, shall we say. And uh, there are some very, very fine performances of the legends. I mean, there's Macaris on Superphone, for example. Um, Ivan Fisher did them. You know, they, they're, they're around. They sort of, you know, they're around. You can, you can find them. But it's always great to see a new recording of them because they, they deserve to be heard and they deserve to be continuously thrust before the public because they're just so beautiful. And then the, the check suite. Oh, my God, the check suite. The check suite is, is a little bit better known. But again, it's five movements. It's incredibly charming. It's small orchestra. It doesn't get a lot of play. I don't know why. I don't know why these these delicious works for chamber orchestra or smaller forces don't get performed all the time. I've never seen the Czech Suite in concert. I've never seen anyone program it, which or the legends for that matter. I think it's astonishing. I really do. It just it just sort of blows my mind. The Czech Suite has a romance, a movement that is one of the most beautiful things in the world. And I did a separate video about it. It's, it's, it's maybe it was the first video in the world's most beautiful melody series. Check it out. I mean, it's just, just gorgeous a duet between flute and English horn. Whew. I mean, it just doesn't get much more beautiful than that. Now, the performances here are extremely good. Machalaru has a real feel for the music. He conducts it with flowing lyricism and occasional bursts of intensity because this is it's mostly gentle music it's songful it's about it's about the great melodies it's about Dvorak's fabulous scoring for woodwinds you know these are sensitive and very very nicely recorded performances by Lynn and they make a wonderful int uh, introduction to this conductor he also did the Saint-Saëns symphonies for Warner there's a little box that I have sitting over there that I haven't gotten to yet, but I will. 
and maybe we can talk about him again and see how he's doing. He was concertmaster actually in the Miami Symphony and was educated largely in, in Florida and Texas. Um, and then he had, you know, he runs the Cabrillo Contemporary Music Festival and then he went to Germany and he got jobs in Germany and then in France with the Orchestre National de France. So he's busy and he's building a career. Um, he was born in 1980. He's just a kid. You know, you know for all of us old altacockers out here, you know, we're starting to, to realize these are, these are young up-and-comers. But it's wonderful to encounter him. I enjoyed this recording enormously. And it's a beautiful coupling of some really, really lovely music that doesn't get time of day. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.